Good evening to you and thank you for joining us for News 10 on My Fox 10. I'm Ron Drill Moore and for Patrice Dayton. The latest unemployment numbers are both good and bad news for one Wabash Valley County. Efforts are underway to use education to help drive the numbers even lower. News 10's Hunter Petroviak joins us now. It's topping news in our Economy Watch 10. Hunter? Rondrell, back in January, we brought to light the high unemployment rate in Greene County. Fast forward to August and it's lower, but it's still the highest in the state at 6.7%. But a sign of the times is coming as leaders work to make it even lower. This sign will soon sit along a Greene County highway, and while it's just a sign, Brian Geralds with Greene County Economic Development says it signifies the county is working to educate kids on learning after high school. This just kind of shows that we were aware it was an issue prior to that list coming out, and this is one of the programs that we had, were putting in place to kind of uh, be proactive towards fixing that issue. <laughs> The issue is getting people to work in available jobs. Greene County Literacy Coordinator Beth Burcham works with adults in the community. She says this success program is an important teaching tool and that it does need to start early on in the education process. I push, push to tell them to stay in school and to have a plan for, for graduation and a plan for what they want to do in their career. Both say this is more so a career success program, showing people that with the right skill set, there are plenty of available jobs in the area. While college might not be for everybody, some type of education can help take them a long way in their own backyard. There's just this sort of stigma that goes along with, with the rural community that the kids need to get out and get away to get the career they want. But we need our youth. We need um, we need their skills. And as the sign gets ready to go into place, Bertram says it also symbolizes community togetherness to help bring down their high unemployment number. I think it will help the issue because the community is coming together from east to west, north to south to work on these issues, and um, they're providing activities for the students in the schools. And um, I think it will make a difference. Gerald says many of the available jobs are manufacturing ones. Now, many cities and counties have college success programs. We've linked you to the website on WTHITV.com. That's where you can learn about what it is and how you can get your child involved. Rondrell, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Hunter. 